Hello, this is Chris Jackson from ActionQA.com. In the last video, I covered how to switch back and forth between CSS and XPath using the .useCSS method and the .useXPath method. There's one little gotcha with using these methods that even I didn't know until I just played around with it. So I'm going to cover that in this video, and we're going to introduce the concept of having multiple tests or steps in one test file. So that's something new I haven't taught in my other tutorials. So let's jump into it. Okay, so what I'm going to show right now is that when you use this XPath or UCSS, it's going to set that default selector for the entire file. And this is a, a new introduction. You can add more than one test to a file. So let's say here is the next test. Function browser. Okay, so what we're going to do here is do some copy pasting. I'm going to update. Basically going to copy this test over here. Put it down here. And let's go back up to the first test. We're going to get rid of this part. Actually, we're going to actually copy it with control X. Actually, we don't have to copy it we, since it's already down there. So do this first test and we're going to call browser.end, which will close the browser se session. That means the next test will start a whole new browser session and we'll open this up again. And what we're going to do here is get rid of this one and just to show you what's going to happen here. So we're not using either the use CSS or use XPath. We set XPath in here, but the default for new test should be uh, using CSS selectors. So if we use the CSS selector to clear the value and set the value, let's see what happens. And I encourage you to do this just so you get the muscle memory for doing this. And just to see for yourself what happens when you use this so you don't run into any surprises in the future. So it's going to run the first test. Cool. It's an next path. Now it's going to open a new browser. And we're seeing that problem from before going to keep trying over and over again to use that uh, input field and finally it's going to barf. Yep, there we go. No such element. So you see right here, if we want to go back to using CSS selectors, we're going to have to add browser.useCSS for the next test. And this is only for within this file. If you have another test, if I went here and just created a new test under this test directory, that other test would have would just be using default CSS selector or whatever you set as the default. So this wouldn't affect the next file, but it, it only affects the entire file. So at this point, once I use this browser.usecss, anything after this is going to be using CSS within this file. Hopefully I explained that clearly enough. <laughs> All right, so let's give this a shot. Clear this out. Run Nightwatch. XPath. Cool. Close that out. Now we're going to be trying to switch over to use CSS. There we go. We got CSS again. So that is how you use the use CSS and use XPath. So there are times when XPath does the job and CSS doesn't, or you want to change the global value for using CSS or XPath, and you need to switch between it after setting it to something different. In the next section, I will show you how to globally change from the default from using CSS selectors to using XPath selectors. Thank you for watching. I am Chris Jackson from Action QA. Please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions at all, please go to the comments section, leave the comment there. I'd love to get back to you and answer any questions you have. 
if I can answer them. You have a good one. Take care.